Honey, Trump supporter Amber Rose was spotted out in Miami with the ex-husband of Tiana Taylor, Iman Shumpert. Now, sources close to Amber says the relationship is strictly platonic. I ain't buying it. And neither is Tiana Taylor's friend because she has some choice words for both of them. So a couple of days ago, um, the Shade Room posted a picture of Iman and Amber Rose looking real cozy on the beach in Miami. So DeAsia, the friend, she hopped in the comments and she said this. This is so funny to me because when we were on the boat on New Year's Eve, you and your friends villainized me for peeping the sneaky ish that was going on while Tiana and her kids was on the same boat. Oop. And I was right. This proves my point. Then you want to be crying a river on that girl phone the next day. Mm. My friend has been nothing but graceful this whole time, but you played a epic game. Tiana, I'm sorry that I got that I got this deep, but I'm tired of taking the high road. You done everything in your power to save this man and his image. And then she adds Amber Rose and says, I wish you would deny for these blogs because I recorded the conversation. And y'all making excuses about him being single, but he was good and married when this ish started. Corny as F. I hate when people threaten to release recorded tea, but don't. Listen, don't tell us about it if you ain't gonna leak it. But anyway, with Amber Rose, I hope this isn't the case because you was just online uh, a couple years ago crying about being cheated on and embarrassed by your ex-boyfriend, Alex, who was cheating and then left her for a senior pop star named Cher. I went to the friends page because I just... I feel like she gave us a lot of information, but not enough. Like, how the hell did Amber end up on the boat? Who invited her, Iman or Tiana? So I went to DeAsia's page and um, hoping to see some, some receipts or something. But she made it clear that she just got thousands of followers. And if we're there for tea or receipts, um, it's not going to happen because she's a positive person. <laughs> okay, girl. So based on DeAsa's comments on the shade room, um, Amber Rose, she was a sneaky link. Um, it sounds like the affair has been going on for a minute and they both were denying it. And could this be the reason that they divorced because he was messing around with Amber Rose? But how the fuck did she end up on the same boat as him and his wife and kids? Like, how? Um, and... I've seen Iman and Amber, when did they divorce? Because I seen them on a podcast uh, talking about co-parenting. And she was talking about um, how to successfully co-parent. She said, you shouldn't be worried about who your partner is dating. As long as the kids are happy, as long as they're fed, then that's the only thing that matters. The children should be the primary focus. So was she hinting of her situation she got going on with Iman because I think she was subtly implying that Tiana Taylor shouldn't be concerned about her dating Iman because their kids are good. That's what it sounds like to me. And do all the celebrities live in a small little village or something? Because why do they keep dating the same damn people? There have to be more women out there. <laughs> Somebody else said cheating on Tiana Taylor. With a bald-headed white Republican is nasty work. And it is <laughs> that part. Um, and someone else said, to the people saying it shouldn't matter, get a husband, have to divorce him over infidelity, suspect he was messing with a certain woman, and divorce him only to see them pop out together to confirm your suspicions. First, before you speak on how or why it matters. Mm. So I guess people were saying, why should it matter? Because they're divorced. Somebody said, fumbling Tiana for an industry bicycle is wild to me. Oh my God. So Funky Dineva, he's in the comments <laughs> and he said he'll be dating Larsa. P <laughs> he said he'll be dating Larsa Pippen next. And I believe it. I believe it because she one of those ones that get tossed around too. Say what you want about Larsa Pippen, but she is going to keep 
a fine black athlete on her roster, okay? And you know what? I hate to say this, but she is not an attractive woman. She she, she is, and she looked like Miss Piggy, and she has a different face every year. I don't even know what she truly looked like because every year she has a different face and nose and lips. Somebody else said they always end up with their homegirls slash friends in the end. It's nothing new. Pay attention to the signs and actions. She's not surprised. She knew. Just like we all do when our ninja starts acting strangely. It's just public now. Confirming her intuition. Let the two winklings <laughs> have each other and she'll find someone just as great as her. Amen. Preach. Somebody else said they were flirting on College Hill to me. I forgot about that. Definitely was. Was Amber Rose one of the women Tiana invited into their bedroom? Because remember, Iman and Tiana have been very open about their marriage. They was on the breakfast club bragging about threesomes. And in Tiana's own words, she said her and Iman were knocking bitches down together. So it was Amber Rose, one of the bitches y'all was knocking down and Iman decided he wanted Amber and not Tiana. And I don't think it's an issue that Amber Rose is allegedly dating Iman. The problem is uh, they was having some shit going on while they was married. And if that's the case, Amber Rose, you dead ass wrong for messing with that woman's husband behind her back. Well, guys, that is the end of this video. I would love to know what you guys think down in the comments. Um, Please give the video a thumbs up and I will talk to y'all later. Bye.